to 100 percent yes i'm going to present the topic is called as an octopling which is stable from under the application of trap coupling by stellar master professor devon mckinney engineering so the engineering college channel chennai this bloom cell is applying shafts uh, are usually available up to 7 meter length due to inconvenience in transport in order to have a greater length it becomes necessary to join two or more pieces of the shaft by means of a coupling shaft couplings are used in uh, machinery for several purposes to provide for connection of shafts of a unit that are manufactured separately such as motor generator and to pro provide the uh, disconnection for repairs or alteration to provide for misalignment of the shaft or to introduce mechanical flexibility to reduce the transmission of shocks uh, loads from one shaft to another to introduce protection against overloads it should have a no projection parts requirement of a good shaft couplings or it should be easy to connect or disconnect it should transmit the full power from one shaft to another shaft without losses it should hold the shaft in perfect alignment it should reduce the transmission of shock load from one shaft to another shaft it should have no projection parts types of shaft coupling have the two one the rigid and flexible coupling so rigid coupling is used to connect two shaft with a uh, with our uh, perfect alignment the rigid couplings are uh, the types are uh, sleeve uh, the clamp or the split mock coupling and the flange coupling uh, flexibility coupling is used to connect the two shaft having both the lateral and the, uh, and the angular misalignment these types are uh, bushed and uh, bushed pin type coupling unisex coupling and is all man coupling now I'm going to see in for a sleeve or mock coupling. I'm going to see that one. So this is the shaft. This is, this is one container. This, this, this is the two parts. This is the part one. This is another part. And this is a mock one. So mock will be covered the uh, the shaft. The shaft diameters. The both will be connected by using the our uh, Q and quarter joint. And the uh, diameters will be called as a is a mock diameter or sleeve di diameter. So it is a simpler type of rigid coupling made of cast iron. It consists of hollow cylinder whose inner diameter is the same as that the shaft. It is fitted over the end of the two shafts by means of a jib head key as shown in figure. So this is, is, a, this is the jib head key. And this, this is the total is the dimensions, everything will be provided in our design data book. The power is transmitted from shaft to another shaft by means of a key and sleeve. This is the notation which is used to uh, and then uh, calculate the parameters, diameter, torques, and then outer diameter of the sleeve. And then for the key, the length, width, and the thickness. So all the parameters and the dimensions are available in the PhD design data book. And this is the design for sleeves. This is the properties of cast of this steel coupling. So, cast iron properties are available in the design book, and uh, this is the outer diameter of, of the shaft. You can you to calculate for this? Uh, first, if you are seeing the capital D, so this is the uh, outer D. You can calculate it by using this uh, formula. This is for the length, actually, like, yeah, which is uh, shown here. And this is the D, is the di diameter of the shaft. And this is the torques you can able to calculate uh, for the shaft, is it can be permissible uh, for the uh, uh, shape for the one. Uh, so this is the data also you can able to obtain as the uh, uh, formula can able to was uh, uh, taken from the, the PAC design uh, data book in the little uh, in the latest version. So uh, from this expression, due to the shear stresses also maybe take one. And the and then uh, this is the formula for can able to calculate calculate the uh, parameters of the keys. Uh, this is the length you can calculate for the two one. And uh, 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 this is a uh, formula can able to calculate the length of the key. Uh, similarly, you want to know that one so how much torque it can is going to withstand both uh, shear and the crushing stresses. So that will be calculated using these formulas. This is for the uh, shearing, and then this is for the crushing. Uh, 
this is also data is available in this interface. Uh, so using this formula, we are going to solve the problems in the software method. Thank you for watching this video.